Hey, this is Tasneem. So this is my fifth video about the Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. If you didn't watch my previous videos, please check. Um, if you find my videos helpful, please subscribe my channel and hit the notification bell button. I'm going to show you how can we add different different charts and tables in, in our slides. So let's start it. So as we want to insert some charts, so we have to go to the insert button, insert tab. So just click here, insert tab. Now you can find the option named chart. So you can find different types of charts here, like uh, some chart like like column bar, some charts like pyramid, some charts like cylinder. There are some cubes or uh, or there are also some some graphical representation also. There are some pie and and bar area. There are some scatter point x y point there are some surface type of graph there 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 are some graph for representing stock there are donut bubble radar different different styles of bars so you can choose whatever you want okay and you can choose according to your presentation or according to your topic how you how, how you actually need so so i am I'm going to start with the column yeah, so after clicking, clicking the column option, you have found the table like this, right? So from here, we can edit, we can edit this graph. How? Here, here is a section, uh, here is a column A uh, for, for the name of the category. There is a column B uh, for the for the range or for the value of each bar. So like uh, this one is number one, this one is represents number two, this one is for number three. So let's change it. So if if we double click here, we can see the cursor and we can we can we, we, we can rename this. We can rename each category. Like we can we can write it as Facebook. Category 2, we can rename it like as Instagram. So, category 3, we can WhatsApp. And for category, uh, we, we can also delete any kind of category, okay? So, what you can do, just select all the columns and simply press the delete button. See? the extra column has been removed extra row has been removed okay so you can also customize uh, customize these 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 parts this is one series two you can customize everything actually so i'm like here is 4.3 you can you, you can put here like seven so this is how you can actually um, make charts it's very easy just re rename uh, like this this is this is a range for facebook like for two from 2000 2010 2000 so uh, this bar represents the facebook user from 2010 this one is for uh, the facebook user 2015 this one is for the number of uh, the percentage of facebook user at 2020 so same for the Instagram and the WhatsApp. So in this way, you can customize your table data. Okay. So I'm going to simply cut it. Yeah. Like uh, this represent 2010. The red, the red bars represent 2015, and the green bars represents 2020. Okay. You can also customize the chart styles. There are different kinds of chart style. You can you can you, you can choose any kind of style from here. You can choose this one, or you can choose this style. There are different kinds of style you can choose actually. Okay, so uh, you can put some title here.
charts are actually same the graphs are actually same so just just different kind of style actually they are basically the same thing so how can we represent our data with line okay so i'm going to click this one so here again you can find a data table like this so here you, you can see there are three kinds of data and they represent they represent three three series series one series two and series three and there are four category you can also cut some category and add some category also so this uh, this box is actually represent like before this box represents the percentage or the uh, or the uh, the percentage actually uh, the percentage of users uh, actually uh, so you can uh, you can also this represent 4.3 uh, 4.3 out of 100 percent that means 43 percent this represents uh, 2.5 that means 25 percent like uh, you can you can see here from uh, 2005 4.3 here so this is how actually the lines work so there are some chart style also so you can represent it with different different styles so uh, there are another most popular option that is pi uh, pi option is pi and donut these two are um, these these two are also uh, used widely so i am going to show you the pi let me show you this one. So, like before, but here, uh, in case of pi, we don't have like um, like before. We 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 have some uh, we have some options for column name and we have we have some um, row name also. But here, so we have we have just some row name and. And one column is representing one type of information. So to describe one topic in different different uh, sector, so you can use these kinds of pi. Okay, and this represents the percentage. So like this one is eighty two percent. Mars is eighty two percent. So eighty two percent of of our sales is from Mars. So this uh, this is kind of represents in company. Okay, so uh, assuming this these are some company names. So uh, the total sale uh, say the total sales in 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 in, in garment sector like in cloth so sales cloth so in total sales in cloth sector 82 percent is from from the company mars 32 percent is from the company jupiter one uh, 14 percent from the company earth and uh, rest is for the company mercury so uh, here is also some styles you can also check it out so next next donut same as pi actually uh, one kind of data uh, if you want to describe it in different view you, you can use pi or you can use donut okay the so pi and donut are basically the same so i am not going to change anything i am just showing that uh, for for first quarter the sales was uh, 82% the for the second that that, that was thirty two percent for the third that was uh one point four percent and for the fourth there is one point two percent of the sales okay so this is how it works so you can also change the chart layout like this so you can represent the, your data inside the chart or you can represent your data like this uh, like this outside the chart above the chart you can represent your data. Uh, under the chart, you can represent the, there are different, different styles you can go through. Okay, so you can also um, uh, represent it as a percentage. So that's all for this video. I, I have shown you the insert tab and different, different, uh, different, different options from here. So there are some more options options to explain. I will show you in in a later video. For now, bye.